Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the one that I promised you in the group yesterday. I told you it would be posted today and here it is. This video is a full day of eating on my cut, which means I'm in a calorie deficit eating only whole natural foods, nothing processed, in order to shed a little bit of body fat that I put on while I was gaining muscle over the past few months. So, as I had mentioned earlier in the group, this is a 12 week macro eating plan per se, strategically designed to cut some of this body fat off and hopefully obtain a nice chiseled body this summer. So here we go. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing, what I'm eating, I know some of the foods on here are not keto. You don't have to let me know that below because I already know. <laughs> but they are good, healthy carbs, strategically eaten so that I can use those good carbs around my workouts. So here comes the video. Hope you enjoy it, guys, and I will continue to do this for you. Not every single day, but enough so that you get the gist of what's going on. And yeah, if you have any comments and anything positive to say, leave it below. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Stay focused. I love you guys. Bye-bye. So here you go, guys. First meal of the day is one full cup of egg whites. I have two cups of fresh spinach. And I mix that together in the frying pan with a little bit of um, cooking spray. In this container, I have half a cup of oats. And I put in one tablespoon of natural peanut butter. And this is the brand I use. The only ingredient in it is peanuts and salt. And I believe I show you the back of the label here. Uh, there it is, peanuts and a little bit of salt. Um, so one tablespoon of that is equivalent to 16 grams. So that gives you the good healthy fat. So this meal is totally balanced. I've got my good carbs, my good fat, my protein, and my veggies, and a glass of water. So this is a perfect breakfast. Hey guys, so just finished training chest and triceps. Now I'm gonna do 30 minutes on elliptical. So just wanna keep you updated. I'll show you what I'm having after this. Bye. So just left the gym and I packed, I don't know if you could see this, this is what's left of it. I had a full uh, eight ounces of water with one scoop of protein powder in it and that is my post-workout shake. So I'm gonna be heading home and preparing a meal, which technically will be my third meal, if you will. Uh, the eggs and oatmeal was breakfast, protein shake, even though it's not really a meal replacement, I consider it meal two. So meal three will be coming up and I'm excited because I'm hungry. Um, got a really good workout in, was there for about an hour and 15 minutes, did some weight training and cardio today. I didn't incorporate a lot of cardio while I was bulking. Uh, every now and then would throw in a little bit of cardio, but now that we're cutting, we're going to incorporate at least 20 minutes of cardio um, per day for right now. And then as a couple weeks get by, probably after the first four weeks, I will increase the cardio. And then the last four weeks, I will really bump up the cardio. And that's how you do it. You don't wanna go all in, all gusto right away. You wanna do it gradually so your body doesn't get used to anything. So that's the scoop and I will see you at my next meal. Hey guys, just got home from the gym started eating and totally forgot to record it. So in here was three ounces of grilled chicken, or I made this in the crock pot. Two cups of spinach. Uh, let me look at my plan here. Uh, there was one and a half ounces of whole wheat pasta and three quarters of a tablespoon of olive oil. So I did this all in a pan, the spinach, the pasta, the olive oil put some Italian seasoning on it, and then added the chicken that I cooked in the crock pot yesterday. So that is meal after the gym, and like I like to call it number three. So we're here with meal number four. In this container is one very small sweet potato, two cups of spinach, 70 grams of avocado, and three ounces of grilled chicken. So I'm gonna actually be taking this with me because I'm gonna be heading out, but when you're prepared, you will not fail. So that will be meal number four. Hi guys, so it is a little after 6 p.m. <clears throat> we are out doing errands. It is 
freezing here in New Jersey. I don't even think it's 10 degrees. It says, oh, I apologize, 18 degrees, but it's freezing. But I wanted to show you that I am staying on my plan because, oh, let me show you. I brought this. And it seems, say hi, Britt. <laughs> it seems a little, um, what's the word? Like I'm eating a lot very often, but I'm not eating a lot, but I'm eating often. And it seems a little strange bringing food everywhere you go, but this is what you have to do. So I came prepared, got my food in here, got my water. And I'm kicking ass today. I'm proud of myself. I have stuck to the plan 100% and I still have one more meal to eat at around 8 39 o'clock I'm truthfully so full um, and that that's what's a little bit difficult about this because I think I'm actually eating more but with the right macros for um, cutting instead of bulking it seems so counterintuitive but um, it's because I'm eating so much more often than I was the other way. So anyway, I'm stuffed. I just ate about an hour ago. Well, no, half hour ago. Uh, the meal that you saw right before this, that was what was in the lunch bag. Drinking my water and um, so yeah, when I get home tonight, I'll show you my next meal. It's going to be a seafood meal. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then right before bed, I'm gonna have a protein shake and that's it <laughs> and then I'm gonna literally I feel so full so um, this is how I used to eat years ago every few hours and it always always was a good thing for my metabolism I find that um, since I've been in a surplus with the bulking I think my metabolism has reset somewhat because of all the food I was eating, um, there were days I was above 2,000 calories, which for me is like unheard of. I would normally typically stick between uh, 1,200 and 1,400 calories, but I think what wound up happening to me through this whole process I've discovered um, is that my metabolism had obviously dropped and it was always difficult to get the weight off when I had some extra weight on and now it seems that um, since this bulking phase and the working out real hard and upping the calories um, just the slightest drop in macros um, will cause weight loss so I'm excited all right so I'll see you at my next meal talk to you then Hey guys, so totally forgot to film my shrimp dinner, so I apologize for that. I will show you that in another video, but I did have shrimp and two cups of veggies and a little bit of olive oil. That was the next meal. I'm on my last meal. It is late. <laughs> I'm truly not even hungry, but you know, you got to do it. So here it is. Protein shake. It's just water, one scoop of protein, half a banana, one tablespoon of all natural peanut butter and ice so down the hatch it goes I'm looking at me <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video hope you enjoyed this full day of eating on my first day of my cut I will do these periodically and update you as I go along so if you have any questions leave them below and as always stay focused and I'll see you in my next video bye guys